So if you want a really quick way to fade to black or fade from black or actually in and out to any color, uh, just add in a color, shift A, add in a color, bring that up or down, depending on your footage. Should make this a little bit longer here. And with your strip selected, press shift A, go down to fade, and then you have your options. So I'm just gonna choose fade out. And then you can see this little curve if we zoom in here, Let's zoom in here. Uh, the curve starts right here, and that's when our fade out starts. So it starts at full black, and then it fades out. And since we have it over our footage, we can see the footage behind it. Now, if this isn't working for you, just come down here to blend mode under the strip tab, and then choose alpha over. Okay. So we can actually get rid of this fade by making sure our strip is selected, right-clicking, and then select clear fade. We can also do shift A, add in, fade in and out, and it's gonna fade in at the beginning and then out at the end of our strip, however long that is. But you can have even more control. Let's go ahead and clear that fade. Shift A, and we can also do from current frame to current frame. So if I know exactly how many frames I want uh, to show our frames, let's press control T so we can see our frames. So this page down to snap it right up against our color there. We've got 1159. Let's say I want it to take 15 frames for it to fade out. So what I can do is come down here where it says 1159. This is our current frame. If we click and drag, you can see that. And I'll right click to cancel. But if I click in there, I can also subtract. Uh, if I do minus 15, then it will go 15 frames backwards. And then from here, I can do shift A, fade, from current frame, then it's going to fade out. And I know now this fade is going to take exactly 15 See, frames. Do that again, minus 15. That's where it starts. Control T, we can see how long that is. So we've got 47 page up, 48, uh, 08. So not quite a full second, but just under one second long is the time. So if we actually want to, uh, a three or four second fade, we can do the same thing. Uh, we don't even have to clear that fade, I don't think. So for a three second fade, we want this to be at 4508. Shift A, fade from current frame. Boom, now we have a three Welcome second. Welcome to Blender Frenzy, I am Justin. Fade in from black. Of course, we can do that same thing. We clear the fade at the start. So page down all the way to the start. And then instead of minus 15, we can do plus 15. And there we go. Shift A. This time we say fade to current frame. Ta-da! Or we can move it here to current frame. And then right here and from current frame. Very easy. And it doesn't have to be black. We can change this to whatever color we would like to fade from, and it will be just that. It doesn't just apply to color strips. We can do this for video as well and audio. So if I select my video and audio here, we'll make a cut, and then I'll put this, grab that, snap it right here by pressing G to grab and then Control hold control while you hover to the next strips. And now with these still selected, G to grab, and then minus one five, that's 15 in. And now all I have to do is go page down, select these two, shift A, from current frame, boom. Now they both fade out over the other one. Now you can't, you can hardly tell because it's, I haven't changed anything really. Let's find a completely different one. Let's do, uh, that snap those there and we'll bring these in grab hold control to snap those to the ends here shift b to zoom and now if i grab this and minus 15 we can see come over here it fades right into that other strip this is exactly what i've done with the quick tips by the way so we've got our uh blender frenzy intro animation and then our quick tip and then i think i have it at 10 or 15 i think it's 10. so page down snap that there we'll select these g to grab 
hold control to snap it to the end of those other strips. G to grab again, minus 10. I, usually, I think I usually do 10. And same thing here, just select both of these, shift A, fade. Oh, we can't do from current frame because we didn't change our playhead, so page down. Now we can do shift A from current frame, and okay. voila. So we have our intro animation, then we have our quick tip, and okay, then it fades right on into our footage or fades out over our footage. Very easy, very useful, lots of different applications. Hope it helps your video editing.